we have finally made it back home after racing on the road for a couple of weeks up in Washington and in Ohio. Welcome back to today's video. Tonight we are here at the Cottage Grove Speedway in Cottage Grove, Oregon for night number one of three for the Freedom Cup. Now the Freedom Cup is a big sprint car and modified show, a 4th of July classic at the Cottage Grove Speedway. I believe they started this event back in 2019. I don't think they got it in last year due to COVID, but now this is going to be the second annual Freedom Cup, which is a big sprint car and modified show where they have a unique format similar to the trophy cup where you accumulate points throughout the weekend and then the big Sunday finale I think the highest point guys start last and they try to race their way through the field but tonight we're at the Cottage Grove Speedway one of my favorite racetracks this is just two hours north of our race shop in southern Oregon it's a quarter mile dirt track it's got good banking it's usually around the bottom or the top a lot of slide jobs in a very smooth surface so we're gonna be getting after it tonight following Carly around for the weekend she's the only homes kid that's gonna be racing Scene. She's at the pit meeting right now and she's getting all the information so we're gonna catch up with her here on the vlog kind of get the format the rundown for night number one and I'm so pumped to follow her along and get her progress because I believe tonight is like her sixth seventh or eighth sprint car start of her career. So the night is getting underway at Cottage Grove. Carly just finished up with the pit meeting. Can you kind of explain to the viewers the rundown for the night number one format? Yeah so first we start off with qualifying and then we do heats and then there's a six car invert to the main, which actually everyone makes the main just because there's eight, only 18 cars, so. Perfect, so hopefully that makes sense. Pretty simple, and then also, I guess, throughout the night, are you guys gonna be accumulating points? Uh, yeah, so I think it's like 150 for fast time, and then it just goes down by one. And, and do you get heat race points as yeah, well? Yeah, I think he, I don't know what, what it is for heat race, I just know they go down by three for heat race, and then the main, I'm not sure. I wasn't really listening. We'll, we'll figure it out, but I guess all you guys gotta know is we gotta do as good as possible, because like I said, you're accumulating points tonight and tomorrow to set you up for the finale on Sunday, where all the big money is gonna be handing out. So qualifying is complete for night number one of the Freedom Cup. Carly looked really, really good from my vantage point entering turns three and four. Carly, how did the race car feel? Uh, it was it was really fast, I can tell you that, but just a little bit too loose. A little loose in the slick stuff. The track's actually kind of starting to lose grip at a yeah. faster rate than I think we would have thought. It was hard to tell when we first walked up to the place, so I think you ended up 11th overall out of 18 limited sprints. Where are you going to be starting for your heat race? Uh, front row inside, so on the pole. On the pole, so heat race will be up next. Carly's going to get strapped back in. We're going to tighten up the race car, get it a little bit better, and hopefully she can go out there and lead all these laps.
felt really good. I The start wasn't my favorite just because he actually kind of got a decent start too. So I just kind of ran the bottom and then went right to the top and pedaled my way through it. And Carly looked really, really good on the top. It's hard to be consistent with how much grip there is and it's easy to kind of get the car out of shape. But for the most part, Carly looked good. She led all, I think it was longer than eight laps. It's ten, about ten, ten lap heat race. Well, now I think what what's up next? Do they have a redraw? Uh, I'm not quite sure. They might have a redraw. I'd have to go check. <laughs> We're honestly not 100% sure on the format because I think originally we told you it was an invert for the A, which I think we told you a six car invert. Well, it's actually a 12 car invert. And for the heat race, it was a six car invert because Carly was 11th quick. So chalk that up as Carly's first sprint car heat race win of her young career. Now it's just time to see where she's at in overall points and with the invert, where she's gonna be lining up for the A. Well, Brian Crockett just got off the racing surface with the water truck. He lightly watered the bottom and then really hit the top side down here in three and four. Racetrack needed it a little bit. I honestly feel like it's shaping up to be really, really good, but I can kind of understand because night number one of three, all at the same place. Uh, obviously, that means night number two and three are in jeopardy of taking rubber if they don't take care of it here on the first night. I think Carly, though, is going to be rolling off from fifth, which means she was seventh in overall points. She's gassed up tonight and looked really, really good in that heat. Well, Carly is getting all strapped in for the 25 lap feature. I decided to put my Fast 4 Media hoodie on because it's starting to get chilly. In the last shot, you guys saw that they were doing some track prep, which they ended up doing even more. Here at Cottage Grove, wherever the sun beats down on the racetrack for most of the day is what usually gets slickest the fastest. So like entering turn three and then all of one and two, the sun just sits on it constantly. So it was super slick, but exit of four, it was like there was grip all night like qualifying. So they really went hard on the track prep to try to give us a good service for tonight, but also conserve the racetrack for night number two two and three. I think I said in the last clip that Carly was going to be rolling off from fifth, which I was incorrect. She's fifth in points, so she's going to be rolling off from seventh. I told her to drive the race car hard. The racetrack has a lot of grip, but it is going to slick it off, so be prepared to move the wing. Carly, final thoughts before the feature. I'm ready. Let's go do it. Good luck. So we're getting ready to push Carly off. Like I said, 25 laps coming ahead here at Cottage Grove. Track has a lot of grip, but it's going to get super, super slick and change a lot over the course of the feature. If you're gonna run the bottom, make sure you hit the bottom. If you run the top, hustle. Like, you can run it hard. Just keep trying to work on running it harder and harder. You got this.
Well, as my good buddy Johnny Burke said, who ran in the limited sprint class tonight for the A feature, Cottage Grove is extremely tough. And unfortunately, Carly had kind of a rough go in the A main event, but that is just part of racing. And I think the person who could have the most empathy for that and understanding is myself. Carly's at a stage where she's trying to learn sprint cars with very little experience, just like I'm trying to get better and better at the 360 with a good amount of experience, but the 410 with little experience, just getting kind of getting into it into 2021. So we brought Carly down here to turns one and two. Carly, tell us just a little bit about your A feature. Uh, like you said, yeah, it was tough. It definitely uh, was something that I wasn't expecting. I couldn't really drive the car as I was wanting to drive it. So, you know, I mean, we didn't have the best night tonight, but I think we'll come back definitely tomorrow. I 100% agree, and that's just part of it. Racing is so much mental and confidence, and like I said, Carly's learning. I think I said earlier in the video that it was maybe like your eighth start, but I think tonight was your sixth start. Yeah. It was so very little experience behind the wheel of the limited sprint. What were the track conditions like? It was really, really good around the bottom for most of the race. Uh, yeah, my car just, I don't, couldn't, I felt like I couldn't really drive on the bottom as well. So Tanner told me under the red to go to the top and put my wing back, so I did, and I definitely felt better up there, but I'm definitely not up there yet. So there's a lot we need to work on. And that just takes time, you know, here you have to have a lot of confidence in the race car to be able to hold it on the top side, hold it wide open, or at least in the gas and get it to, you know, stick. And then also trust that you're not gonna fly off the edge because that's actually very easy to do. Here's a good little look at turns three and four. And Carly mentioned me yelling at her under the red flag on like lap number seven. So I ran over to the fence. I ran all the way from the pit grandstands to the main grandstands because Carly was kind of cutting the bottom off like a box stock. She was just running a little bit too low and it was forcing her to push tight in the center of the corner. And I just needed to get her attention. So I ran over to the grandstands. I waved my arms and I yelled like five times, Carly, Carly, Carly. And every other driver could probably hear me. So I looked like a crazy brother. So Carly mentioned it. I mentioned it. Just a tough A main event. And I can totally relate. I think the best word is watching Carly and I've felt this many times in 2021. Sometimes you're just on uncertain of what to do. You get passed on the low side, maybe you get passed on the high side and it just throws you for a loop and it makes it difficult to get in a rhythm. And that is just gonna happen behind the wheel of a race car because this is an extremely tough sport. You can see they're doing some track prep, trying to get everything ready for night number two, the Freedom Cup. And we're gonna take everything we learned, which there was some victories tonight. You won your first heat race, how was that? Uh, that was awesome. I was definitely waiting for that white flag and then the checker to come a lot sooner but uh, after that I was very uh, had a lot of confidence going into the main and then it kind of just fell off towards the end which like I said that just happened so take all the experience you gained tonight in your fifth or sixth start figure out Cottage Grove a little bit more and we will be ready for night number two of the Freedom Cup tomorrow well, another night of racing complete for our team in 2021 and the 22C is all loaded up and it's time to recap it. I know the result in the end and the speed we had in the A main event is not where we wanted it, but that does not mean we had a bad night. Carly looked pretty good in qualifying and got her first heat race win. We talked about it beforehand and I was just encouraging her like, look, Carly, if you hit your marks, get out front and just do what you do. You're gonna win this heat race by a straightaway. Sure enough, she got out there. She looked more and more comfortable and got that heat race win by a straightaway. And that is such a proud moment for all of us. And then for the A main event, one thing that we didn't really discuss, the track conditions didn't really provide for a lot of passing and that made it difficult with the invert. She started seventh and she just struggled to find her groove. Couldn't really get going, tried a couple of different lines and just wasn't able to find something that worked for her and that's gonna happen. And I know maybe from watching the video, if you're in the grandstands, it's so easy to watch drivers and say, why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they moving their wing here? Why are they running this line? And I always like to say, it's so easy to drive the race car from the grandstands, but when she comes in, my job is just ask how the car feel, you know, maybe talk about things that we could do a little bit different and just try to improve her game and give her more tools. So as she runs the sprint car more, she has the best chance at being successful. And I always talk about it when we're doing something new, we always want things to happen fast. And just like my sprint car racing, Carly's is gonna be the same way it's going to be highs and lows highs and lows it's going to be a roller coaster and tonight she did struggle a little bit but sometimes that's just going to be a night at the dirt track and tomorrow she could come out here and have one of the runs of her career so we're just excited to keep riding right along with carly as she continues to progress in the sprint car and hopefully you guys are excited to do the same as well so thank you to everyone that helps thank you to the crew my family everyone that showed up for night number one of the freedom cup it was a little bit of a long night so we're going to get some sleep uh, wake up early and maintenance the race car and get ready for night number two and go out there and see what we can do. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Deuces.